What's up guys, this is Ventures and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna to be talking mouse pads. Yes, I said it, mouse pads. But not just any mouse pads. This is for my budget-minded gamers out there. We're gonna be talking RGB mouse pads. I found one on Amazon that was relatively decent price and I thought it's definitely worth to try. Definitely wanted to give you guys my idea of it. So I went ahead and picked up the Havat RGB mouse pad. I'm gonna show you what it looks like some of the features, everything about it, give you an idea whether you want to pick it up for your budget setup. So without further ado, let's get into the review. All right guys, so here it is, the Havat RGB mouse pad. As you can see, this mouse pad is a general kind of mouse pad. It's slightly on the medium to larger size of mouse pads here, but it's relatively basic for what you can see. Uh, the mouse pad does sport that nice cloth kind of texture there so it's very soft there you have your controller for the actual rgb logo and then of course the rgb lighting around the side so just taking a look at it build quality and eh, it's pretty basic you have just the mouse pad there uh nice soft material uh not very uh hard plastic it's very easy it's kind of like that nice cloth material which works real well for your mice or your mouse if you were to slide it around kind of get it on there and get kind of a uh Nice feel for your mouse. You can move it back and forth. It slides pretty easy. Uh, you're able to maneuver real well. And I haven't had any problems and worked pretty good. Uh, very similar to the mouse pad I do own. Uh, actually, the table pad. It works well. I like it. Uh, and other than that, it's, it's relatively basic in that regards. So, as well as with that, you also have just the little logo. So, if you're into the kind of the logos, you have the Havat logo as well. Uh, you also do have the outside here, which is where the RGB lighting is. Now, this RGB pad does have a stitching that is connected to the lighting, and the stitching looks to be relatively decent for the price point. Uh, build quality is pretty good. The stitching actually is uh, there to kind of hold that RGB lighting there. And uh, yeah, I haven't really noticed it really scratching against my wrist, but if you are very sensitive in that area where your wrist might get a little scratchy from, you know, moving the mouse, you know, back and forth and stuff like that. That might be something you want to consider, but in my experience, I haven't had any trouble with that. As well, it does have an anti-slip backing on the back. So the back side, just like any other mouse pad like this, uh, there's an anti-slip back. It's uh, very good. It doesn't really slip. It it's, does what it does. I mean, most of this mouse pad uh, sports normally the, the major functions that most of the other mouse pads have. Uh, and I think it's relatively well built overall. Uh, the biggest thing that this has is obviously the RGB. So if you're going to get this mouse pad, it's probably going to be for that RGB. So you do have the RGB controller here, which has an actual button here to change the actual uh, RGB lighting. And you have the actual micro USB that plugs in, which it does come with a braided micro USB cable with an actual L-shaped micro usb so you can plug it right to the side here you can come around your actual mouse pad uh, not interfere with things and uh, it works relatively well uh, and i like it personally i mean real honest it's not very many things about this mouse pad that i can say that's wrong or bad about it it's, it's relatively basic in its core but what i do like about it is the rgb when you decide to use the rgb on this mouse pad especially in a darker room if you really want that going man this thing lights up this thing shows very very well i have a larger mouse pad it doesn't have as much brightness i guess because the pad is a little larger this one actually shows very very well you get that good rgb lighting all around the outside and it seems to be very vibrant it's like this size is actually seems to be the perfect size when it comes down to that kind of lighting and speaking of that lighting the rgb on this mouse pad has 14 different lighting modes and you can actually be able to hit the switch on the side and be able to change to each lighting mode. Um, I was actually surprised by the amount of lighting modes and the different settings it has. Of course, it has your normal, you know, red, blue, green, white, yellow, pink, stuff like that. But it has different kind of uh, lighting textures and different modes that I wouldn't have expected from this mouse pad. So it definitely surprised me. And I'm going to actually show you some more of these lighting modes. Just take a look at it a little bit here.
So the lighting mode on this actual mouse pad is actually very great. If you really want to kind of just give your budget setup a nice little uh, shine to it, uh, give it a little bit pizzazz, you know what I mean? With the RGB, it's something definitely to add to it. If you have other RGB products to add to this pad, that would be also great as well to kind of sink into those things. Not everybody is a big fan of RGB, but let's be honest. RGB equals gaming and gaming equals life. Life equals fire, receipts inside gaming. That's all that matters. So, yeah, I like it, and I will probably give you my uh, final thoughts on this pad. So, let's get into that. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Havat RGB mouse pad. With this nice size, not too small, not too big size, you can use your mouse, be able to glide over without having to fall too much off your desk or off of the pad and the nice RGB added on to there at that nice affordable budget price. I think it's something you should add to your setup immediately. If not, hey, just get a mouse pad at least that size or something relatively better. It is a mouse pad. But if you love that RGB and you are my budget minded type of gamer, definitely pick that up. So yeah, if you do like that, uh, yeah, go so check it out and also leave a like on the video as I stated before. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you pick up that mouse pad. And always keep that flame going inside for gaming. Peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next one.